everybody on DTube and also people on YouTube who have yet to come over to DTube. You guys need to get over there. I think this video is uh, going to be appreciated more by the DTube crowd uh, because it's about cryptocurrency. And we're going to talk about mining for just a second. Uh, in particular, we're going to mine some turtle coin. What the hell is turtle coin? Well, it's a, uh, it's a new coin. It's not really on any markets as of yet. I mean, while we're showing you how to mine turtle coin, a lot of these principles are going to work and then things will start clicking so you guys can really pick the exact coin that you want to mine. A lot of the mining right now um, is not as profitable as it used to be, but what a lot of people uh, are doing, what I'm doing, is sort of speculative mining. You see a new coin that comes out, this one's worth like 11, 12 Satoshis, it's not worth a lot. Um, and for you guys keeping score at home, that's way under a penny. So you can mine thousands of these per day uh, with decent hardware. I'll mine with your CPU and your GPU. Um, and then as you're mining this coin, you just amass them and you amass them and you amass them and it drives up your power bill a little bit and you're hoping that it goes up to maybe a tenth of a penny or a penny and then you sell all your thousands of them and make a few hundred dollars or whatever. So that's sort of the idea with some of these coins and Turtle Coin is one that I think is pretty cool, uh, but there's plenty of other ones out there and this video will give you an idea of how to mine using the XMR Stack Unified uh, Miner, but it's going to be similar principles all the way across the board. You go grab the latest turtle uh, turtle coin stuff. I usually like to go to Turtle Coin's actual website, but I've been here before, so I know this is legit. Um, you want to make sure you're on the legit actual website before you download something, because you don't want to be downloading a wallet uh, or a miner or any other program from a fake website. So just be very careful. So I'm on Windows. I'm going to grab the uh, the Windows stuff. Now Turtle Coin. First thing you need to do is you're going to need to get a wallet and you're going to need to sync with the blockchain and this is all uh, such new stuff but the wallet's pretty ugly it's um, you know basically command line and then uh, in order to sync with the blockchain it's a separate a separate program all right so you can see here it opened up a bunch of different things now we're going to run turtle coin first and that's going to sync your computer with the blockchain so then just hit that and this is going to take a few minutes so we'll come back once this is finished sync with the blockchain and you want to leave turtlecoin.exe open now it's time to make a turtle coin wallet so open up simple wallet there we go and the first thing you're going to, want to do here is generate a new wallet to give you some options just press G yes wallet. you can name your wallet whatever you want mine's gonna be totally awesome there we go <laughs> uh, make a password for it and your wallet ID is gonna be right up here on the top now, it's going to get really out of shape if you close this. It'll be like, ah, oh, we're out of sync. So you have to have these two things open at the same time until they make a fancy, shiny, awesome wallet. But right now, this is all you got. And if you want to know what you can do, you just type help. There's all your different commands. Oh, no, I've got no money. No turtle coins yet. If you guys want to get started with some turtle coins, you can go over to their Discord. And they're actually cool enough that they'll throw you some turtle coins. So that's really cool. I said cool a lot. All right, now it's time to start mining these. If you guys um, edit this file, that's going to be your address. It's just much easier to copy and paste from there. So I'm going to highlight the entire thing and copy it. Ignore my using my mouse to do it. I'm just doing it for, for show. Normally never do that normally. All right, next up, uh, you're going to need to download the mining application. The miner in here is not what we're going to be using. I mean, you can use that if you set up, uh, you know, if you set it up, but it's much easier just to go ahead and grab uh, standard like Monero miner, which is the um, XMR stack miner. Okay, downloading, downloading, downloading. There we go, our XMR stack miner. All right, now it's time to open up our XMR stack mining program. It's going to open up two windows. One's just so we can have admin uh, rights, and it'll open up the second one with admin rights. I guess you could just right click and run as administrator, but okay, so it's open right here in the middle of the page, and now it's just going to ask us a series of questions, and from those questions, it will generate it's config file, so pretty easy to you know to deal with. All right, it's going to ask what uh, currency you want to use, Monero or uh, Eon. Just type Monero, and then it's going to ask you for some pools. Uh, you guys can grab the pools over on our uh, GitHub link. I'll put the you know the list of the pools down there as well. So I usually grab the pools that are closest to me first, and you can list multiple pools if you like. There's that one. It'll ask for your um, wallet address or your pool login. Just grab your wallet address, throw it right there. Your password is going to be X. Some, you know, some services or some different coins 
uh, will use no password or you can have a password if you have a password on that particular uh, pool. But this one just uses X. There you go. Uh, this wallet, TSL, SSL, don't need to worry about that. Just put no. And then do you want nice hash? Not for this. And do I want to use multiple pools? Now you can set up as many as you like. So I'll just do one more just for the hell of it. Now I'll ask you to enter a wait for these pools, zero to whatever. I'm just going to enter them all as 10 because that's what they recommend on the tutorial, but whatever. It works fine. All right, next pool. So just the same steps for the next pool. Enter the pool name. Enter your wallet. Password is X. It does not support that. No nice hash. And the wait for the pool, 10. Continue that until you're happy. And then once you're happy, be ready to mine. So uh, add another pool. I'm going to do no. And there we go. It's over here creating our config files right now. And it's already started mining. It's discovering blocks, discovering blocks. Stuff's going on. We are, oh, it's going to kill the computer. All right, that was going to kill Open Broadcaster, so I went ahead and closed it down. Uh, let's say you want to be able to use your computer a little bit while you're doing this. Well, you can chill the CPU a little bit. That's what I found helps a lot. You got the CPU config file. These two config files were, were created. Um, and you can see we've got all of, our, all of our CPU threads right here listed. I found that if we just get rid of all this in our config file and save it, when we open it again, it'll run and it won't tax your CPU. It'll just be doing GPU mining. All right, so let's say you want to check and see how you're doing as far as your mining goes. Well, all you have to do is just log into your pool uh, with, you know, minus the, um, the port, just, you know, pool.turtleco.in. Uh, That's the main one I'm mining to. You log into that, my internet's being dumb right now, so I'm just, whatever. But once you get in there, you will have a field where you can copy and paste your wallet ID, and then it'll show you how much you've mined, how much has been paid out, and how much, uh, how much of a balance you have to be paid out. And once it's paid out, it will go to your wallet, and then once it's in there, it usually takes, you know, it's depending on the threshold, uh, it could take about a day, but you can come over and check your balance. And right now it's still got zero, but um, you know, after a day or so, you should be like, holy crap, I've got thousands of these things. So let it go. Um, these coins are not worth that much again, but who knows if they go up in price a little bit, could be worth it. Um, and this is also a decent tutorial as far, I'm gonna say it again. This is also gonna help you guys if you wanna mine other coins, it'll give you a step in that direction. We'll get a little bit nerdier and check out CC Miner and some other things in a future video coming soon. Uh, let me know what coins you guys are mining. I'm always curious about that. And let me know why you guys are mining those coins, especially if you guys are mining some coins that are new um, or are just really, really um, small coins that are only worth a few Satoshis or something like that. What are you mining? Why are you mining it? What do you think is going to happen with the future of it? And what's the, uh, the potential of this coin? All right, we'll see you guys in the comments.